Hi everyone, it's Carl's here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a review and an eyeshadow tutorial using a particular palette that I actually wanted to get when it actually came out. Unfortunately, I didn't get it and I don't remember why I didn't get it. But in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the KVD Vegan Beauty Edge of Reality Eyeshadow Palette. Boy, that was a mouthful. It sure was. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, so if you want to know exactly how well this performs, what makes this particular palette so special and see what look I create overall. I'll have to get tongue twisted and then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this particular video. So the reason why, let's just start off. The reason why I wanted to get this palette when it originally did come out, but I didn't get it, is because this actually, don't quote me because I could be wrong because you know, things changed a little bit. Anyways, when this first came out, this actually was the very first palette that is 100% recyclable. Yes, 100% recyclable, yay! Now you're probably wondering, Carl's, what are you so excited about? <laughs> so if you don't already follow me on my channel, I have a pet peeve about palettes having mirrors in them. And the reason for that is because a, we don't need that many mirrors. And secondly, you can't really recycle the palettes. And I've said this time and time again in terms of my videos, did I say my videos? In terms of my videos that I really would like for makeup brands, makeup companies to actually start using biodegradable recyclable products. And behold, we had one. I didn't get it because I don't know why I didn't get it. <laughs> Honestly, I have no clue why I did not pick it up. I was pretty excited that it was, and it is 100% recyclable. So I'm like, um, so I was like, okay, should I get it, should I not get it? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this story. Anyways, you guys, so this palette does retail for $45. There are 14 shades overall. There is six matte shades, and then there are eight shimmery metallic shades if you want to call it that way um i was at my recent like marshall's tj maxx store picking up a few things for our home and this sucker was there i'm like oh you're meant to be mine today they only had two right so i'm like all right let me go ahead and pick one up so i end up picking it up for two dollars why is it two dollars? Twenty two dollars and ninety nine cents. So it isn't that bad in terms of the retail price of forty five dollars. Now, if you depending when you see this video, if you go out to the Ulta website because Ulta does carry now KVD Vegan Beauty because at the time when it was with um, Kat Von D, it was exclusively sold through Sephora. But right now, you can actually go to Ulta. Anyways, you guys, if you go to their website. <laughs> you can actually pick it up even cheaper than the $22.99. You can actually just pick it up for $22. <laughs> so you're only saving 99 cents. I don't know why I made it such a big deal. Anyways, so that is the overall, like the GIF, whatever you want to call it, of this particular palette. Let me go ahead and take it out just in case you are new and you're like, mm, let me see a couple more reviews on this particular palette because I don't know if I want to pick it up. Anyways, you guys, I'm special. So this is the front. Ugh, I apologize, the metallics never pick up. All right, so there is no, uh, what you call it, magnetics in there. You know, normally you have a, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Okay, so this is how it opens. So my, my nails, my fingers are really dry right now because well, again, if you're new to my channel, you know, I've been moving and boxing, unboxing, so my hands are real crusty. Anyways, <laughs> so let me go ahead and open this sucker up. Again, no mirror, yay! And, but they do have 100% recycled, but then they got a piece of like that protective slip that you can't recycle. But you know what, that's okay. You can actually keep these and use these for other things within your makeup um, kind of routine. You know what I mean? Like what I mean by that is like, if you want to mix up some foundations and you know, make color match your skin tone, go chi 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 chi, put that there or go like this chi 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 chi. 
I don't know why I'm doing sound effects. Ah. Anyways, you guys, so let me go ahead and show you the inside right now. So again, there are, I do like the fact that they are separate, meaning like you have the mattes over here and the metallic glitter shades on the opposite side. So that's pretty good. It's not all scattered over the place. Does that make sense? I will show you so it makes sense. All right, so those are the insides of the shade. They're actually really, really pretty. So when I first viewed this particular palette, I thought it was actually really cool. And I was really questioning, how in the heck did they get it so smooth? Like, look at this. Do you see how smooth? Like, okay, let me, re let me restate that differently. Because you know, sometimes when you get palettes, you can see the indentations and all that, right? Look at this sucker. Do you not see how, look, smooth the small things? make me question <laughs> i'm just special you guys so this is actually pretty cool so yeah let me go ahead and swatch a couple shades i have no clue what i was about to say so you can take a look oh this blue one right here this blue one i think there's a shade name um wait obis obis i think i can am i the only person that always gets these confused like is it opposite is it right is a mirror mirror is it the opposite you get what i'm trying to say right all right so let me go ahead and show you it may not show right there because again the metallics always ruin the lighting i don't know why that is but anyway so let's go ahead and swatch that is a beautiful color Ooh, <laughs> it's it's butteries butteries all right, I've actually never, believe it or not, never seen a review. So this is actually going to be my first impression, non-biased review. And I've never actually used any eyeshadow palettes from the brand of KVD. So anyways, just disclaimer, just in case you guys want to know. All right, you guys, so let me go ahead and show you that little swatch that I just did right now. It does have some good pigmentation, so that is a very good thing. So now let's go into a matte shade. I'm going to go into this brown one right here. Hopefully you guys are able to see. Let me tell you, the formula in terms of texture feels amazing. Like, kid you not, it does. It feels super soft. So there goes another shade. And let's just try another shade for kicks. Let's go into another matte. Let's go into this really light one right here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold this and do two things at once. And clearly I can't do that. There you go, there you go. <sighs> All right, so I was afraid, this is the reason why I picked this one, that it may not translate. It's very, very light. I've noticed that with light shades in terms of my skin tone, they always don't, they don't translate well. So let me go ahead and show you. Do you see that? No, you don't. Don't worry. I most likely will probably just use it as a transition shade or as a base topper, just because it is a shade that doesn't technically show on my skin tone that well. Anyways, you guys, so let's go ahead and create an overall look and see what we think in terms of the quality and performance of this particular palette. I was trying to close it didn't work <laughs> all right you guys so the first shade i'm gonna go into i'm gonna go into this shade right here and that is the title no the shade name critical i don't know what i was about to say so let me go ahead and grab a brush here Look, these are the most typical brushes that i use all right so what i'm gonna use what i'm going to do is use that as my transitional shade basically as more kind of like a base topper. That makes sense. This way another shade has something to kind of settle down on top of. I don't know if that made sense, but in my mind, it sounded right. <laughs> All right, you guys. So since that is my main purpose, I am just gonna get a bigger brush. You see, mini, 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 mo. I'm gonna go into this one. This is from Glam Light Cosmetics. This is from their past holiday collection, as you can tell from the Candy Cane style. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go into here. Da da da. Okay, not too much. It is what it is. All right, so since it doesn't have a mirror, and I usually don't use the mirrors anyways in the palette, I will go in using, oh, I got a little bit of primer here still. Um, use my mirror I always use. So again, so I'm, again, oh, <laughs> I cannot talk. All right, you guys. So I'm just gonna apply this right here. I keep looking over here because I want, I'm thinking my external monitor is still there but I moved it, so it's up there. Anyways, so let me just go ahead and just apply this very minimally. I'm not expecting any color payoff because again, this is a light shade and light shades don't typically translate on my skin tone. So let me go ahead and apply this really quickly and then we'll get to the next shade. 
All right, you guys, so the next shit I'm gonna go into is this brown one that's right here, which is titled Transformation. So where I'm gonna apply that is actually on the outer corner of my eyes, on both sides right here. The brush I'm gonna be using, just in case if you wanna know, it is a Morphe M5 06 hopefully it picks up and again as I mentioned what I'm going to do is just apply it on the outer corner of my eye so what I'm going to do with this particular shape is that I am just going to first dot it down or blot it down and then go ahead and work what little bit of shade was able to transfer onto my eyelid hopefully it makes sense so let me show you exactly what I mean by that so the shade that I still have on here is transfer and I'm just going to dab it right here. And the reason for that is because I don't know what the pigmentation level is. They say it's ultra pigmented, but you know how that can be sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and just go right here. And again, and now go ahead and work with a little bit did transfer on there. Actually, I'm not seeing much of anything. So let me go ahead and try a little bit more. What I am noticing that there is some kick up and, but not a lot of, Okay, now I see it. Sorry, I keep looking up. Now I'm seeing it there. So let me go ahead and just do a little bit more. And then once I get it to the pigmentation level, level then I'm gonna go ahead and start buffing it out inward. All right, you guys, so I was able to go ahead and apply that on both shades. Let me show you exactly what I did by mistake. Can you? <laughs> Look at this. I accidentally touched it with my fingers in a slide. And the problem is because it is so smooth. Look, it went into like three shades. Mm, I tell you. Anyways, you guys. So the next shade I'm going to go into. I'm going to go into this one right here. Hopefully I don't end up touching the. So I'm going to go into this one. No, this one right here. The one that I did not put my hand in. And that one is called Green Screen, which is kind of odd. It's called Green Screen when it doesn't look green. Hopefully I'm naming these shades correctly. So again, I'm going to go into that one right there. And I'm going to apply that right on top of the brown that I just got done using with Transformation. I went into a new brush. This is a Morphe. This one's E3, uh, E18, I believe. Yeah, 18. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply this right directly on top. And the reason why is because any harsh lines that I may have left over with that brown, at least then it'll soften it out and not give out that kind of like really dark, heavy look by when you first sometimes, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you apply and you're like, oh boy, I didn't realize that there was like a harsh line. And I noticed on this side there is, not this side, but this one there is. So let me go ahead and just apply that one right above that. This way, both shades will blend effortlessly together. At least I hope so. And yeah, it looked decent. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. All right, you guys, so I was able to go ahead and apply that particular shade right on the eyelids. So hopefully they blend it out really nicely where there are no harsh lines. So the next shade I'm going to go into is this particular, I can't hold this, in <laughs> this pur purple right here. Oh my God, why am I having difficulties? So I'm going to go into this Morphe brush. There really isn't a number. This is came from a, a collection. So what I'm going to do is uh, get more of like a flat. There you go. A flat. I went blank and I looked up <laughs> a flat brush, but a little bit more of that sticker on the top. And the reason for that is because I want that purple to be applied mostly on the inner corner of my eye. I'm not going to dust off too much because I really want that shade to really stand out. Hopefully it picks up. Let's take a look. All right. Actually, it did. Hmm. You see that? All right, let me go ahead and keep working this. Actually, I'm really liking the shade. Huh. All right, let me put a little bit more on here because this is actually really pretty. Wow. I wonder how much more it would intensify if I use setting spray. So you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to apply this regularly. And then on the opposite side, I'm going to use a setting spray and see if there's any differences in terms of the way the pigmentation lays. Is it more darker? Is it more brighter? Hopefully that makes sense. So let's go ahead and continue. All right, you guys. So as I mentioned, I went ahead on this side, I just applied it regularly with the brush, regu regu regularly. Oh my God. In this side on the west with like kind of like setting spray, wet brush, 
you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Honestly, I don't see a huge difference. I'm looking in the mirror and to me, I feel like I got the same effect. I don't know. What do you guys think? Again, this is dry on this side. This is the wet brush. Honestly, it just looks pretty much the same to me. It is what it is. So the next shade I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into this light shade that's right there. And I'm just gonna apply that directly right on top of the purple shade I just got done using. Next brush I'm gonna go into, and I'm gonna use more of like a round fatter brush because I really want to intensify the top of the eyelid itself. So the next brush I'm gonna go into, this is a Morphe E, I mean, M129, bingo, I got it. Anyways, I'm so dramatic. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and go into that particular shade. As I mentioned, I'm not going to dust it off because again, I don't know what the pigment level is going to be. If it's the same for all of the shades, am I going to get the same outcome of each individual shade or different outcomes? Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so let me go ahead and just apply that right there. Why I'm like this, I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead just apply this. Oh, maybe I should have used a smaller brush. You ever have that moments where you're like, I'm going to use this brush because I think it's going to work. And then when you use it, you're like, oh, that obviously did not work as planned. <laughs> we'll make it work. All right. So let's see right here. Let's just go ahead and work this inward on the top. Yeah. You see that? Hmm. All right, I do like the fact that these shades are very blendable. So that's a good thing. So it's not like it's stuck there and I'm going to have a challenge working it out. No. So let me go ahead and just work this out in outward. Oh my God. I told you, I told you one day y'all would be able to talk. All right, hopefully. Now let me go ahead and just apply this. I said hopefully very softly. All right, let me go ahead and apply this or work it inward towards that purple a little bit there you go hopefully you guys are able to see oh my god i'm feeling i'm feeling like i got some disco vibes going on right now with this shade with this overall look hmm all right let me go ahead and finish this other side right here because i'm just making gibberish why just do that <laughs> okay you guys so i was able to go ahead and apply that on both of the eyelids so just for kicks and to kind of intensify the look a little bit more if I mess up, I mess up. Is makeup, it comes right off. Let me go into this blue right here and I'm just gonna apply this right on the waterline area of my eye. Hopefully this is not a very pigmented shade because if so, I may look like a hot raccoon, like a hot mess raccoon. So let's go ahead and apply this right here. Let's see, hmm, okay. You see, I'm just doing this very lightly because this blue, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you try these colors, or not these colors in this palette, but you know what I mean? Like in general, when you try a shade out in a palette and it's actually much pigmented than you anticipate. And all of a sudden you look in the mirror and like, oh, Jesus, help me work this out. <laughs> all right, so let's just go ahead and keep applying this because clearly I'm having a special moment right now. It's all right, it's all right. All right, let's keep going. Okay, you guys, so the next shade I'm going to go into, and just to make it a little bit more bold, because it really is kind of soft and subtle. I mean, it's not dramatic. <laughs> it really isn't. Again, I'm just, I don't have no rhyme and reason today of what I'm trying to create. So, you get it. All right, so the next shadow I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into this one right here, and I'm just going to apply that right in the inner corner of my eye. I am hoping since it when i swatched it it was really nice i'm hoping that it just creates a nice lick that it just makes it pop even a little bit more so let's just see all right you guys fingers crossed because if not then this whole look is just a mess <laughs> oh <laughs> what did i just do okay now i really need to work this out <laughs> I told you, there's always that one shame that's going to trick you. And then when you apply it, you're like, oh, that's not, that's, it did not translate <laughs> well. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, we got to make do what we got now. Hmm. Let's continue to figure this one out. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. All right, you guys. So I went off camera for just a brief moment to complete the overall look. So now my thoughts and opinions about this particular palette. Surprisingly, <laughs> despite the hiccups I had through making this particular look, because again, I didn't have a thought. I didn't have an idea of what I wanted to create just because I guess I... I really never saw a video, never did. I did know I wanted to get this, but again, normally when I create a look, I try to envision where I'm going with it. This time around, I didn't. So I don't know, leave a comment below. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions with this overall eyeshadow look. Don't judge the other makeup because again, it's not about that. But in terms of the palette, in terms of the quality, in terms of the performance, quality is actually really there. I didn't have any issues drastically in terms of like pigmentation. The blendability is there. Um, let's, what else? The, uh, on top of the blendability, I didn't notice any fall uh, or any fallout in terms of the actual uh, eyeshadows themselves. I didn't have to clean up anything, especially with the glitter metallics. I thought I would actually have to clean around my face. No, I didn't actually have to do that. There was quite a bit of kick up. Um, as you can see, my hiccup that I did, I don't know why. I just... <sighs> I know I'm not the only person that does that with their fingers and you like, oh no, usually you'll scratch like one pan, but me, I did three pans. And I think the reason for that is because the shadows are so smooth that it allows that opportunity for that to happen. I don't know, you guys, it could just be me. <laughs> Let me not blame the palette and the way it's like structured because I actually think it's pretty cool. You can actually take this apart. There is a little notch over here, which I won't do, that you can actually pull the shades or the pan, this whole sheet out. Um, I'm not sure why that is because especially if this whole thing is recyclable, I'm assuming, I should not assume, it's because if you don't want to keep the pan or the packaging, you can just use this and put it in something else. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing it. Anyways, you guys so that is my overall review and tutorial using that particular palette again that is the edge of reality from kvd vegan beauty again definitely leave a comment below let me know you guys thoughts and opinions with this overall look in terms of the video itself any suggestions or recommendations i would love to hear your feedback as well and if you do have this palette what are you guys' thoughts and opinions? Did it perform the same way as it did for me or did it pay a personal or did it perform better for you? I don't know. Anyways, you guys, but if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new videos, you automatically get the notifications. But until then, you guys, make sure y'all brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Bye now.